Hello everybody and welcome to Fat Buddha Fitness. I am Chester Monkey Magic and we are in Martial Arts Week. We've come to the biggest park in Rome, the Villa Pamphili, to do today's workout which is loosely based on Kung Fu. Now the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that I'm actually wearing a Taekwondo outfit. That's just because I decided to wear this. Uh, you may also notice that I'm wearing a black belt. Don't think that I'm trying to pretend I'm a ta Taekwondo black belt. It is in fact my Judo black belt, so I don't want people writing in and complaining. Uh, I've uh, commandeered the services of my friend Dampfman, who is filming today, and uh, he's American, so um, I'm expecting him to be right at the cutting edge of uh, filming technique. Anyway, I'm already ready, so I'm just going to get on with the workout. Right, the first exercise we're going to do is called the knee block. There are 15 exercises, uh, most of them you're going to do 10 repetitions on the left and on the right. But the first one is basically to start you off warming up, getting moving, knee block. So you bring up a knee and you block, like this. You're going to do 30 of these, blocking to the side. Then you're going to go into the horse stance, which you will have learnt a few days ago. It's called Mabu. And you're going to do a triple punch. So you keep one fist on your hip, put the other fist out in front of you, and you do a triple punch, twisting your fist at the end. And the triple punch makes one. So it's like this. And you do ten of those. Then we move into straight leg raises. Okay? So get in your fighting position, and you're just going to lift your leg straight up. Like that. Straight leg raise. And from now on, it's 10 on the left and 10 on the right for all these exercises. So I'm not going to keep repeating myself. From there, you're going to go into a sweeping block and punch. Get back into the horse stance. And from here, you do a sweeping block to the side. You switch into the bow stance, which is um, gong bu. And then you throw a punch out to the side. Sweep back. Back into horse stance, over into the bow stance on the other side, and hit a punch out that way. Then you're back onto a kicking exercise, and we're going to go for the axe kick. Big circular kick around like that. There's a nice big arc. Okay, then back down into horse stance again. We're going to do a central block and a hook. And when you go into the hook, you go into the bow stance. So you block, hook, block in horse stance, hook, block, hook. Then back up, we go into front spear kick with the back leg. So from here, guard up, kick out in front of you and back. Kick out in front of you and back. Then we go into a double punch, a double punch back into horse stance. Put your fists like this out to the side. In horse stance, you go into bow stance to throw a punch, and then back into horse stance with the other punch. So do a cross and what is essentially a jab. Back up. Now we did front spear kick off the back leg. Now we're going to do the front jab kick off the front leg. So you just lift it up and you jab it out in front of you and put it down. You can either jab in a sort of front up kick like that, or you turn it slightly and you jab out to the side. Then back down, we're going to go into um, into what's called the crouched stance. So you get right down here, you're going to block like this, fist on your hip, you come up into the bow stance as you punch, and then you go back down into a block, like that. Punch and block. Punch and block. Then back up. We're going to go into the side kick. For the side kick, you step in with one foot, you kick out, put your foot back down. Like this. Bam! And back. Bam! And back. <laughs> and then, now, what we're going to go to is a couple more modern punching techniques. So, you're going to stand up. And you're going to jab and cross like this. Jab, cross. Punch these out nice and hard. Of 
of course it's 10 leading with the left and then 10 leading with the right. Two more kicks to come. First one you're going to kick off with the front leg. What you're going to do is a turning kick. So you're going to kick out to over here somewhere. Like that and back down. Kick out and back down. Then we're into the final punching technique which is going to be from here you're going to hook an uppercut. Keep them nice and tight and close to you. Hook an uppercut. Hook an uppercut. And then the final kicking technique is a kick and a block. We're going to do a big roundhouse kick and then you're going to bring your knee back in a block. So it looks like this. Big roundhouse, knee block back. Roundhouse, knee block back. And there you are, 15 techniques. Basically, do as many sets as uh, your needs or your time constraints or your abilities allow you. I would say doing a couple of sets should take 15 to 20 minutes, but uh, after that it's all up to you. So that was today's Kung Fu related workout. Lots of kicking and punching there for you. And if you really kick out hard and punch out hard, putting everything into it, turning your hip into it and everything and your shoulders, you'll really start to feel that workout. Uh, we've just got one more workout left this week in Martial Arts Week and that is going to be a CMMA workout which you will find out what that is tomorrow. Remains for me to thank Dampfman for his fine technique today and if you're anything like me, when you hear the name Dampfman you might start humming in your mind Dampfman! That's perfectly acceptable. I am of course Chester Monkey Magic, this is Fat Buddha Fitness. I'm it for.